When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. Saw the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with it. Hey, hey, why they don't never invite me tonight? Look. Hi. Hey, come right over here. Hey, just hey, lean up against this for me. Hey, turn this one. I'm on the show, show bro. I'm, I ain't right did here. nothing. I'm on the show. Just stay right there. I ain't did nothing. You're not nothing. in the show, dude. Huh? You're not in the show. When? Since when? You got canceled. When? I ain't know this, sir. Okay. I wouldn't even care if I know I got, I got two shows. You're in golf, man. That's... <laughs> Like he ain't heard of me. No, in the words of Gucci, put the ass in the dirt, nigga. Oh, for sure, you did. Let's go, let's go. Take a toast. Three between the line, the same song. I'm the one that shadow boy, act like you don't know. Don't come. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T. I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're going to be talking about Mo3. Alright, so look, man. A quick video here, but uh, in 2019, Mo3 and Yalabizi were set to perform at the same show. And if you know that history, you understand why this was a big deal. But uh, people were saying Mo3 was clout chasing, saying that he photoshopped the flyer because there's no way possible that they're going to book uh, Mo3 and Yalabizi at the same event. And he was pretty much using this opportunity for clicks and views. And then the date for the event actually came around. And well, Yellow Beezy, he was already inside of the event. And Mo3, he went live from his Instagram, letting everybody know that the police was detaining him, saying that he was no longer on the show and he has no right to be there. So they actually handcuffed him and put him in custody. Now back to earlier when I said people would say Mo3 was clout chasing with that situation, saying that he photoshopped the flyer etc etc I mean I'm one of the biggest Mo3 fans there is but even I looked at that situation and could see why some people would think Mo3 was clout chasing because if you put two and two together it, it could look that way but I made a video back then giving my opinion on it uh, telling y'all that I absolutely don't think Mo3 was clout chasing and I think he was on the event and somebody probably told the people that was hosting the event hey it's probably not the best move to have Mo3 and Yalabizi at the same place and when they had to choose, I'm guessing they chose Yalabizi over Mo3 because at that time, Yalabizi was uh, the bigger artist. But again, that was just my opinion. None of us really knew the truth. But now, y'all gotta let it go, man. Mo3 wasn't lying. He was 100% telling the absolute truth. He was scheduled to be on the event. How do I know? Because Future posted it himself. Why would Future post a Photoshop flyer that he got off of Mo3 page. Exactly. He wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. This was the official flyer. And as you can see, Mo3 name is on it. Future posted this. This is official page. So somebody definitely did Mo3 dirty. They got him taken off of that showcase. Now, I don't know who did it. That's for y'all to speculate. But we can all stop assuming now because the facts are here. Future posted it himself. Mo3 was supposed to be at that show. And that leaves me thinking. Why in the hell is police officers handcuffing him when it's clear as day he's supposed to have been at the event? It seems like at the very last moment, somebody had the plug pulled on Mo3 because he was out of the loop. He still thought he was set to perform at the show. I mean, think about it. Who shows up just to get arrested? Who drives from Dallas, Texas to Frisco, Texas and say, hey, you know what? Let me go get arrested. That don't make too much sense. I think he was going to that show to perform. I don't think he was going there to clout chase. But again, that's just me though. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. at TZF, baby. 252. Long Lil Mo 3. I'm gone. Beat your ass, nigga. Take my bell out, bitch, and make me spray some gas. Nah. Pull up with a stick and make that eat flash. I was thinking about buying me a G wag. Nah. Tell me get my lick back. Tell me get my lick back. back. Flip him with a big strap. Don't double back, walk him down. Tell him we ain't stack. Kill a nigga cousin, but I make him get his lick. His lick back. Now everybody want a holiday a demon. Tell you send him to the devil. Oh, so. Yeah, I know I'm the devil. I thought it was smoke. Like if it was smoke, like we would have smoked it out.
on gang. Hey, bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this.